Hello, and welcome to another edition of Day Drinking with Kevin. I'm your host, Kevin McGuire. And today, in this episode, we're going to talk about the wines of Mount Etna. For many of you, the first exposure you will have ever had to Sicily may be the opening scene of Godfather II. But I can tell you, from personal experience, from Catania to Palermo, Sicily is an amazing place. First, did you know that Sicily is the largest island in the Mediterranean? And Mount Etna is one of the highest active volcanoes in all of Europe. Today, we're going to focus in on the wines of Mount Etna. When you go to Mount Etna, you almost always have to take a jeep, and you're going up the mountain, and you're looking at all the beautiful woodlands and forest, and then you see the devastation of the lava flows. In fact, in one place, the road comes up to a spot where there's a 20-foot lava flow in front of you, making it almost impossible to pass. And when you get up to the top of Mount Etna, you see a tiny remnant of the top of the steeple of the ski chalet that was devastated and destroyed by one of the latest lava flows. Unfortunately, lava from Mount Etna happens, and when it does, it makes some great places to grow wine. And today we're going to talk about two of them. Traditionally, you're going to find blends from Mount Etna and some very unique grapes. Etna has two wines, Etna Rosso and Etna Bianco. For those of you who know me, you know whenever I like to say these wines, I like to use my hands. For example, the blend in the Etna Bianco is Caracto and Caracante. And I don't think I can say the word Caracante without using my hands. It's just such a fun, great name to say. The blend in the Etna Rosso is Norello Mascalese and Norello Capuccio. And again, you have to use your hands when you say those names because they're just so fun to say. So let's talk about Etna Bianco for a while. This is a wine that is going to go great with seafood, shrimp, scallops, mussels, clams, vegetarian dishes, chicken. It's got tastes of floral and a little bit of citrus and is really kind of mildly acidic and I think makes it a very food friendly wine. On the other hand, at Rosso, it goes with charcuterie, hamburgers, sausages, meatloaf, chili, this is a perfect date night wine. Doesn't matter what you bring home that night, from pasta to chicken parmesan, it's going to go with it. This is what I call a Swiss army knife wine, because whatever you have for dinner, most likely this is going to go very, very well. It has flavors of cherries and um, red fruits. It's got a moderate acidity and mild body. No one's going to confuse this with a much more expensive wine, but it is an easy day drinking wine that I think all of my day drinkers out there will love. So today we have talked about Etna Bianco and Etna Rosso from Mount Etna in Sicily. I hope you enjoyed this episode and please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Day Drinking with Kevin. And if you have future ideas for other episodes, email me at daydrinkingwithkevin at gmail.com. Until next time, this is Kevin McGuire saying, salute.